Thank you for all of your prayers and notes and encouragement. I have been diagnosed with cancer, um, specifically lymphoma, which is a blood cancer and affects the lymphatic system. And we don't have any staging information yet. I'm supposed to go for a PET scan probably this week. So y'all pray for that. Um, the surgery has given me some relief from my symptoms, so that's good. My mom is here helping me with the kids. Mom got here um, at the beginning of September for Kanan's birthday party, which she thought was going to be a two-night stay. And as of this week, she's been here about a month. So y'all pray for her. She's doing pretty much everything, taking care of the kids. And we don't know my specific treatment plan until after we have the PET scan, but I have met with the oncologist, and I know that treatment will most likely be chemotherapy. And generally for this type of cancer, it's about six cycles, about three to four weeks apart. So roughly six months. Again, that could change if it has spread anywhere. Um, coming to terms with chemotherapy. Like, y'all, I never thought I would be here. I never thought this would be, never thought this would be me. Like, I've literally had no health issues up to this point. No surgeries until two weeks ago. No prescription medication even. Like, this has all been very hard to come to terms with. So... I do plan on trying to work. Um, ironically, I think chemo is going to make me feel better <laughs> in some ways and possibly worse than others, but I'm really just craving normal things. So I look forward to blogging and getting back into it a little bit. I just plan to give myself tons of freedom and flexibility as far as that goes. And oddly enough, like I feel weirdly validated with this diagnosis. Like for months now, I've just been wondering like, why can't I keep up with my life? I've just been so perplexed, like why do normal things seem so hard? And I've kind of stepped back from social things and kind of self-isolated a little bit. So it's weirdly validating to realize like, oh, I've actually been really sick. That's why I can't keep up. So I guess that's it for now. Thank y'all for the support and keep the prayers coming for me and my family and especially my kids. I worry about them. So I love y'all. Someone asked a really good question in my DMs. I wanted to answer it here. What were your symptoms? So I had extreme shortness of breath, a dry cough that lasted for months, just weird sensations in my chest, um, itchiness, and night sweats. Everybody may not have those same symptoms. My mass is right here behind my sternum, and it presses on my lungs and has also caused fluid buildup in my lungs, which caused the breathing issues and the cough. So everybody may be a little bit different. Just wanted to add that. Another really good question, what causes lymphoma? They don't really know in short. Um, they have shown increased risk if you've had Epstein-Barr virus, mono, which I have, and they also say it can be triggered by things in the environment. So I, I did wanna say about my symptoms. Initially, they treated me for asthma, allergies, acid reflux, thinking it was something like that, all while testing my heart to see if there was a valve problem and getting a chest x-ray, which is what actually clued us into what was going on.